Today's episode impacts the entire global cleaning and facility management industries. We have two special guests with us. Don Gilpin is the president and CEO of IFMA, and John Barrett is the executive director of ISSA. Both represent their respective trade associations and are here to serve member companies, organizations, and industry professionals. Let's go visit with them now. So gentlemen, welcome to the program. Let's get started with some big news that you both have to share. It's regarding how ISSA and IFMA will work together on a global partnership expansion. So can you tell us about that? And Don, let's start with you. Well, sure. Thank you, Jeff. And, and thank you for inviting me to today's call. Uh, we have been following ISSA around the globe uh, for the last couple of years. Um, quite frankly, when John and I first met, uh, it was one of the first conversations that we had was IFMA's desire to open up some new markets. Um, IFMA had at that time been in Europe and China and India, but had not really cracked the, the code for Latin America. And we could certainly use some partnership with, with India as well. So at any rate, the conversation um, has been going on for a couple of years. And now I'm so pleased to be a part of this partnership because we have a, a solid partner that we're able to, to go around the globe and, and introduce the facility managers to uh, all of IFMA's goods and services, our training and certifications. And I'm convinced that we wouldn't have made this level of success this quickly without the great friendship and partnership with ISSA. And John, would you like to follow up? Well, well yeah, Jeff. And, and look, uh, Don said it best, this really is friendship and partnership. We, we really do have a strong personal connection, uh, not just Don and I, our staffs are incredibly well connected. And, and to be frank, you know, we have spoken to IFMA for years about doing something and nothing ever happened until Don showed up. So um, I'm really excited because our industries are so closely connected, right? Um, and, and, you know, in, in, in this sense, you know, the demand for cleaning is driven by the demand for facility services. And maybe we'll talk about, you know, one of the big ones, but indoor air quality is probably one of the most significant and unifying uh, elements of keeping people safe today. So, so there's a lot of really good reasons for this partnership. And, and by the way, it doesn't hurt to have Informa Markets, the world's largest trade and exhibition company on your side, and we sure do. Absolutely. Well, Don, we're glad you're here. Obviously, it's going to be a nice partnership. How do you envision this better serving and impacting your broader industries and your member organizations? And John, we'll start with you on this one. You know, Jeff, I think if this pandemic taught us one thing, it's content is king. And, and not just, you know, words on pages or pictures, but uh, when people are in need, and I mean real need like they've been in, they're, they're, it was proven there's very few places they can go to get reliable information delivered in a timely and concise basis. And I think that's one of the chief benefits of this partnership is that it can deliver on that promise. And Don? Sure. I think if anything the pandemic has demonstrated is that it has accelerated the FM into the center of this conversation. Um, we knew it was coming, but the pandemic has actually just sped this process up where the FM is now seen as the source of information, primarily for the C-suite. People are looking to the facility manager on how are we returning? How are we taking into account health and safety protocols? How are we taking into account proper cleaning measures? One of the, one of the areas that that I think is so fascinating about this pandemic is that it, it has indeed been a worldwide pandemic and the FM worldwide has been effective. Worldwide, the FM is now seen as that central um, key figure in bringing everyone back to that occupied space. Uh, and one of the areas that I'm so proud of uh, that IFMA and ISSA came together with is the GBAC STAR facility certification. It's something that we both got behind. It's something that the facility manager certainly embraced. I know IFMA embraced it as another key element 
that we could we could offer that facility manager because he uh, he and she are looking for more and more information. Content is key. John is absolutely right. And, and the more content that we can do on behalf of our members, it just makes our members more, more effective in their built environment. Thank you for sharing that. Um, you, we all enjoy a good backstory. Now you both have shared a little bit of information on this, but can you tell us how we got here, the behind the scenes work that went into all of this? And maybe we can start with you, Don, on this question. Sure. Um, I know that John has a little bit more history with IFMA than, than I do for sure, but I do remember distinctly um, coming into a very snowy day in North Brook, Illinois, and just kind of meeting with John and, and Kim Altoff about what if, uh, starting with the blank slate. I think that that what we talked about that day was just that, a blank slate. Let's start from scratch and see what um, sticks to the wall. It, it was so, it was interesting and Quite frankly, it was a fun conversation to have a couple of individuals that were so open-minded about this notion of partnership. Uh, there's power in partnership. And when, when we talked about the rest of the reciprocal promotion of each other's uh, trade shows, about sharing of training back and forth, um, writing articles for each other's magazines, uh, co-branding webinars, again, getting behind some certifications, it, it was... Um, it was a, a wonderful conversation and it was the start of, of what we're just now starting to, to see come to fruition. So um, I, I remember that day uh, pretty well and uh, it was the start of something great. And I have to uh, venture to guess that John took you to a pretty nice restaurant. <laughs> I think if it had not been snowing like it had, I think he would have. But it was, uh, you know, you know pretty, Pretty ugly day in Metro Chicago. Yeah, I think he had a ham sandwich. Uh, <laughs> That's right. Yeah. yeah. But I mean, well, look, I mean, if I can, um, I remember that day too, but it's funny. It, it's not enough for Don and I to care. Uh, I mean, it's a good place to start, but both of our organizations are staff driven and it's the staff that makes this stuff happen. And, you know, without their commitment and support, there's no way. There's no way this happens. And um, I think the pandemic did bring to bear some other really important common ground. Don mentioned a GBAC. So we're one of the 4,500 organizations in 80 countries that have adopted the GBAC Star Search. The vast majority, the vast majority are end users, facility managers. And, and um, it's remarkable how that is driven us together that I could now we couldn't have foreseen this but it certainly has been an important element in building on the partnership so